So here we are just with the cube and I'm just going to press S, Z and then S and Y and begin scaling it and we'll do kind of a machine style demo. So I'm just going to press D, jump over into box cutter and we're just going to begin just cutting some strange angles because we definitely need something to play off of in order to make this interesting. So having angles cut in just via line to view will give us an interesting result. Now I'm just moving around looking in top view, side view, and we can just mirror this to the other side with alt X and just continue working in our angle. So we have something like this. I'll shift click sharpen in order to roll down um, auto smooth in order to be a little more um, showing at the surface and we can use alt V and use EVHQ to actually really see the surface a little bit better and so this is our starter shape and we could just press control A and make this a mesh and so with the default bevel I'm able to M, merge these points at last grab this edge and just begin beveling to get something like that we can um, begin dissolving to get back to an end gone because uh, there are cases in which ingons can be beneficial, especially in a conceptualization process, um, as I'm attempting to show here. So for this, I have to make a hard choice between whether I want that one or this one next door. And I'm actually going to choose this one, but we'll dissolve that edge in order to give ourselves a little bit of room in order to buffer. And so with default bevel, you bevel at a profile of 0.5. So um, whenever that gets changed, it does change the bevel experience, but I'm typically used to being able to grab an edge like you see me doing and then grabbing it and beveling it and smoothing it out to just get something a little bit more around it. So sometimes even these um, situations where the edge clamps and it gets disadvantageous, we can actually use it to our advantage like I'm showing here where we still was able to make it work out and we can just kind of grab and consolidate and really simplify it in order to really pull a unique shape out of this cube just really fast whenever it comes to the bevel and I could just shift click sharpen and we roll the wheel down to get something a little more satisfactory and then we got to get in and of course either check for doubles but I always find myself just grabbing an edge and just sliding it just slightly in order to get it to not trigger the auto smooth at this point but really just like that we were able to get in and make a really interesting shape just playing around with this default bevel with control B and that's really what the default settings represent to me is just a default classic bevel where you grab an edge and you either get it down to two segments to just get a classic edge uh, or a chamfer as I would refer to it correctly I suppose and then something that's a little more rounded so let's just grab these two and also roll it in but this time we'll keep one segment which with these one segment situations I'll grab both sides of what was just created and then bevel it again to create kind of a double jeopardy uh, double rounding situation but really we're not trying to jump to that level yet but just like that we were able to create a really quick shape just getting in and playing with just a little bit of box cutter and control B.